We're at Madison Spring to have the springs replaced in the bus. And while we were waiting, they gave us a call that we uh, broke a brake line of all things. So now we're leaving our baby here until we can get in because they don't, Madison Spring doesn't fix brakes. But they were very kind to allow us to stay here, to let the bus stay. And uh, 1,400 hours later, new springs and uh, an appointment for next week. Unless Scott can figure out how to tie off that emergency brake line. So, I don't know. Adventures and pocketbooks. That's what it takes to own a bus. A school bus, but <laughs> arrived. Okay. All right, they're supposed to be towing our bus to M and J Auto right now. They were supposed to call us ahead of time, and let us know because we have the keys. That didn't happen, so they called us when they were 20 minutes out. So we. We're still at home, so we had to beat feed it down here. Um, and we're waiting for the bus to show up. So hopefully it's soon. Okay, they called and they need the key. Scott knew that was gonna happen. So we're on our way back over to Madison Spring to um, pick up the bus. Tow truck drivers there waiting for us. Yeah, Madison, I mean, no, it was Prairie Land Towing, which is a good company, is known to us. They've been around for a long time. Woohoo! <laughs> Crazy roundabout. <laughs> and. The bus right around the corner there, and it's still there. Thank God. Okay, there they are. Oh, he's got the front end lifted up. How do you do that? Oh, man, nerve wracking. He takes off. He left the. He left the back rack on, which I guess is fine. So there's our baby. Man, I hate this shit. But that's a big, <laughs> that's a big tow truck. And like I said, they've been around a long time. We knew of them. Um, so there's the bus. Goodness gracious. This poor driver's been waiting for us, but. Oh, look at this they do. That's cool. Alright, starting her up. Holy shit. Oh, we are so much tied up into that bit thing. And alive. 
Do you want to ride with him and I'll follow you? How's he gonna get underneath it? Gonna change and tow it from the rear? I don't know if you can get under the back. trade. Gotta take the car apart, put the seats down. You treat the Prius like it's a truck. nerve-wracking. Yeah, so Scott was just telling me he took the drive shaft off because he thought he was going to tow it like that, needed to tow it like that. So now the drive shaft is off of it too. Poor old girl, I'm telling you. We're just trying to get her fixed, get her ready to go. She wants to leave too. So now he's gonna try and tow it from the rear.
Hopefully it doesn't interfere with our tailpipe, which is another long story. <laughs> That's the second one. Exhaust pipe. Ah, oh, holy it's smokers! It, it. Oh, at least it's not crushing it. Oh my gosh, that's just nerve wracking. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Big troops, apparently. Got a helper. Uh, these guys tow semis and all kinds of big things, but I don't know how many school buses they actually towed that are conversions. I'm sure it's a little novel for them. shut this off for a minute. Oh, there's our nice new springs. That's what we brought it here for. Very excited about that. Hopefully that uh, improves our ride. Yeah, that's just something he could not do. So, so now we need a U-joint. Yep. What was that all about? Tell me about that again. The what rear U-joint on the differential had a shiny surface wear pattern on one side and I suspect that when I had some U-joint work done oh, a couple years ago, they probably put in the wrong U-joint. Who would have done that? Please up the point out again. Same ones that did the fuel tank. Oh, okay, gotcha. That makes sense. <laughs> I don't so, think those guys do. Anyways, yeah. yes. So. So, that's, we'll have M&J take care of the U-joint. They'll take care of that uh, brake lines. Uh, there's only one leaking, but there's three in the frame rail. I'm going to replace all three of them. Yes, because 
because I don't want to go through the mountains again. Um, two bad brake lines. No, we do not. So. so, and why are we taking off ahead of them? Because I don't want to watch it being towed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, neither do I. He had somebody that'll follow him, I'm sure. So, and that was the uh, tow guys that just gave us all that information. He was under the bus and took some pictures and did all that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we appreciate them. All right, on our by, way. By the way, we're on the infamous Beltline Highway in yes. Madison, Wisconsin. And it is horrible. Yes, this is kind of craziness here. Um, this is good right yeah, now. Yeah, no, this is really good. This, yeah, this is moving. Yeah, you're, usually you're not five, moving. it's almost six o'clock, so, but more than yeah. once. Okay. And it's looking kind of crazy weather out there, too, so. All right, on our way to M and J again. M and J Truck and Auto Repair Inc. in Madison. Um, I think here comes the bus. Yep. I don't exactly know where they're going to take it, or if they know where to take it. And I'm probably going to run out of battery here in like two seconds. So if I get this, I appreciate it. If I don't, I probably won't, but it'll be all right. There it is. That big old bus. I'm going to make the corner. in one piece. Sign for that. I, I gotta stay with that. So. Yeah. I, I have to. I have no choice. I mean, that's. I did put that down there. They asked me. First, they told me it was gonna be. I don't know, four to six hundred dollars. I said, okay, why don't we put a thousand on it? They told me that was calling. We'll go from there. Okay. I never got called. And when he when he called this morning, told me it was like holy. Well, that's their fault. So I can do. Well, I can go 10% over, so why don't we just do 1100 Call it fucking even at 11 I'm good with that. Is that okay? Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I just, at least uh, we're prepared uh -huh. for... Uh -huh. I mean, my hands are tied. I mean, they should have called. I mean, yeah. I mean I'm mean, i not sure you would have had much of a choice, but... No, I, 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 I <laughs> but, uh, yeah. but you have to operate by how the system works. And that's the way it is. So yeah. customers like for 1000 I mean, if they contact you, you said that... Uh, Oh, yeah, it's going to be like, more. Yeah. I can't tell you how much more because you can't really quote that kind of thing. But right. yeah, well, that's not a flat rate thing. Huh? No, not not brake lines. No, no, we don't quote any of that. Stuff. Just time and material. I mean, some of them, like on the newer vehicles, they come all pre-assembled, pre-bent, and everything. So oh, you yeah. can kind of quote that. But when you have to make it, cut it, flare it, well, you fish it up in through there, I mean, no. there's just no way of saying how long this is going to take. I mean, right. some you have to take the fuel tank out, some yep. you don't. I yep. mean, right. All the incidentals. Oh, well, I appreciate you, Andre. Yeah, no I really problem. do. It makes a real big difference for us because. So how did we know that the springs needed to be replaced anyways? Because when I was underneath, I noticed that one was uh, cracked, broken, and there was another one I suspected to be broken, and it had a really bad bounce in the rear end of the bus. Yeah. And I know they typically do, but this was worse than typical. 
So we were going to have it actually replaced last year on our trip, but we just ended up not because we went to a AAA bus and they we found out through a phone call before we were going to go there that they actually didn't fix it there. So it was only one spring out of the several, so we weren't in any danger, but it's just better for the bus if we got it fixed, we knew that. So this year we decided um, that we we're going to get it done before we left again. So Scott was on a lookout for um, trying to find some place to go take it. And he did decide on Madison Spring because I think you have history with them or? I have history with Madison Spring. They do good work. Yeah. So anyways, we took it there. It was a day job. We weren't really worried about um, the condition of the bus because we just thought it was going to be there for the day. And um, they did finish the work on a day. They did a good job. But during that time, well, oh, we got a phone they, call. When they pulled the bus into the, the bay to change the spring, it broke a, a, a hydraulic brake line again. Second time now. And I know these lines were rusty. They're up in the frame rail. So they can't do the work. They do springs. That's what they're good at. But they don't yeah. do mechanical work. So I had to have that taken to another shop. Place. And of course, then there was an issue of trying to find somebody who worked on buses, on bus conversions, not necessarily just the buses, that was close enough by, because we were gonna have to have it towed. There was no way that we could not have it towed this time. If you look at past videos, there's, we had a brake, broke. The brakes broke. <laughs> Same thing happened coming, yeah. coming into Flagstaff. Right, so there is an old video on that. I did have to write all this down, so forgive me for looking at the cheat sheet because there's a lot to talk about quickly. Anyway, so we he found a place. Um, M and J Truck in Madison. Yeah. And uh, we, it surprised me that we called several places, and there was places that would not take a conversion bus. They'd take a bus, but not a conversion bus. Yeah. So, so we finally found uh, M and J. They couldn't get me in for about four days. So no, it was a full week. Was it a full week? Yeah, it so was a then, full uh, week. So Madison Spring let us keep the uh, bus there on their property until we could get it over there, and then we had it towed uh, to M and J. And uh, the tow truck driver said, "Oh, by the way, you're going to need a U joint in the back. It's really worn out." The tow people were Prairie Land. Um, like I said in the video, they've been earlier, they've, they've been around, they were known to us too. Good play, good company, um, so we were happy to have them, but again, we had to wait to get, uh, to renew where our appointment was that same day. So they came out a day ahead of time and towed it. So that then the U-joint thing happened, yep. and um, so we got it there. The tow process was just nerve-wracking, but we got it in there, and once m and got it, um, they were supposed to work on it that day or the next day. We, we took it there one day early, so they would yeah. be there for the morning and the next day when they were gonna work on it. Yeah, and hoping that maybe they'd go and see many, what they needed and order what they needed. How um, many days was it before they got there? I don't know, it was four or five days before they could start it, and um, we had been calling and checking on it just because <laughs> we had a scheduled um, camping trip that, that was, you know, paid for reservations, and it was a big deal to me. It was the first well, time I was going to go camping with the kids and blah, blah, blah. So um, one other thing about taking it to M&J, and you should always do this whenever you take your vehicle in. You, uh, you're you at the service counter and they're asking you what's wrong and you're going to get this fixed. It's brakes. It's whatever. And uh, then they'll ask you, do you want to put a dollar limit on it? If it gets to be that's this much more, yeah. do you want us to call you? And I, and I said, yes. Initially, they said they could do the job for $600. And then I said, well, why don't you put a thousand on it just to make sure, you know, you're covered and, you know, and we didn't want to halt the work any. No, we didn't want to halt the work. Over and maybe they couldn't get a hold of us or whatever. A couple hundred bucks, you know. So. so then we're moving forward from there. So we, I signed a contract with them. Don't go over a thousand dollars. Yeah. So anyways, they didn't get, they weren't able to get started on it. And then once we knew that they had pulled it into the shop, then we started thinking, my gosh, it's been two, three days. They still didn't have it done. So then it was like, okay, bus has no solar. Now we're worried about the freezer and the fridge. We said, we just have to go down there. So we did go down there and cleaned out our fridge. And thank God we did. We had a couple steaks and stuff in there. <laughs> and it, they were all thawed. I mean, you know, you kind of expected them. And not blaming M&J for anything. We just wanted to... Um, you know, be proactive with them too. I'm sure they would have hated us in a couple of days if that wouldn't have been cleaned out. Anyways, the guy was there. Um, there was nobody working on anything during the sh during that shift when we were no. there. I'm sure there was people working. They just weren't at the time. On and, our bus. Yeah, on our bus. Are there? I didn't see anybody working anywhere. <laughs> but, they, and, but he 
the guy was on the phone and he was talking to somebody about how difficult it was to get employees. That's been true in our area for quite some time. So, I mean, I'm sure that's valid, you know, trying to find yeah. somebody qualified too, you know. So, I mean, they're having problems with it. But at any rate, they did fix it. They did fix it well. As it turned out, they did mm -hmm. not need to do anything with the U-joint. <clears throat> right. Um, so we, we waited for a call. I called them at least twice. They never called me. And until that, I believe that morning, they said, okay, your bus is done. And I said, oh, 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 by the way, uh, what's the, you know, price on, price it. on that? And they said $2,300. $2,300. We're <laughs> like, what? He had 17 and a half hours of labor uh, on yeah. to replace three brake lines yeah. that were maybe 18 feet long. Pretty much a straight shot through the frame rail. So I don't know what was going on with any of that, but Scott did say to them over the phone that, hey, but I signed this thing, nobody called me. And he was like, uh, blah, blah, the blah, guy, blah, the guy said, sorry about it or whatever he said. said. Well, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, so okay. he said, well, we're coming to get it, you know. In the meantime, we're kind of freaking out. I mean, we had really kind of planned for a five to six hundred dollars. As everybody knows, you kind of budget your money and you gotta have plans for things if you need to have a lot more, so. We and got I, down there we and... We had no choice to get it fixed. Yeah, was, that was definitely what was gonna happen. But as we got down there, that's what you see in the very end of the clip is that I just started the, um, started my phone and recorded what was at least being said because um, I just too curious how they were gonna explain that. And you know, thank God, honest to God, they did step up. Well, they were it's, honorable. It's, I mean, uh, I. It's to their credit, I mean, we were talking to the, the shop manager, the service manager, or maybe it might have been the whole business manager, I'm not sure. But uh, I, he came in, the original bill was, they quoted me $2,300 over the phone. Over the phone. And then when I get there, he says, let me go back and get your paperwork. And he comes back out with, I think, seventeen or eighteen hundred dollars Yeah, so they had thought about it. And thought, so well, wait a minute, you apparently know. Apparently they thought about yeah. it. Yeah. And then when he handed me the bill, I pointed down on the contract. I said, well, somebody was supposed to call me if it got to be over a thousand. And, and, he, he asked, and he asked me, didn't, didn't anybody call you? And I think he knew that. Yeah. And I said, no. Right. And he goes, well, by law, we can't charge you any more than you said yeah. on the contract, $1,000. I mean, they could have given us, what we were, we would have been held up. I mean, we had to have the bus, obviously, you know, so, I mean, they, but they were honorable about it and we appreciated that. So, yeah. I mean, all in all, um, they're a good company. We were happy with it. They did a good job. We've, we've been driving it for, you know, weeks now we haven't yeah. had any problems. But, well, he, um, he asked us if it was okay to put 10% on that thousand. Yeah. And I thought, sure. well, okay, hundred dollars. Yeah, for All sure. Right, go ahead. Yeah. So, yeah. but they stepped up, and but that, you know, if I hadn't have put that dollar limit on there, that would have been twenty-three hundred dollars. Moral of the story. So that's moral of the story. <laughs> right. Anyways, we're gonna end this video now. Just wanted to thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like it, share it, um, and give us a thumbs up. Uh, you can ring the ding and dong bell if you want to see some more videos when they come up. But anyway, all right, thanks for watching.